Hello, I'm Princess Silke, and today we have the number three of the Van Leo Li Yuen Le Yuen <laughs> ice cream lemon poppy seed muffin poppy seed love poppy seed I really like poppy seed so much. There's nice poppy seed um, cake or schnitte in Germany, which I love. A lot of nice good things in here. And we did like the previous two ice creams of the same brand. So this is how it opens. Oh yeah, right. That was the thing. They all have an issue. Maybe I can't pause it. Maybe I cut it later. They all have a real issue with these ice creams. And don't I hate it. Ugh. Yikes, now my hands are all messy and I hate it. Don't I hate it? <laughs> I could have done that before going anywhere else. I so love that you don't have no idea how much. Now look at this. <coughs> it looks cute, doesn't it? I oh, took a few licks and it's really nice. Sorry. Yeah, I'm kind of, I don't like messy at all. I'm like totally not into messy. Okay, so we have poppy seed and lemon and muffin. <laughs> muffin. It tastes creamy, very creamy already, like the little things. Mm. Wow. I know. Meringue pie? I don't know about that. Mm. It's pretty interesting, this cream. It's creamy, it's very, very, very intense citricky. I was thinking about this one and weeps is a mess, Mexican. Well, it's not fast because people spend hours there. But you get those classical, traditional things in the booth, a chain and lots of coffee if you want to. And they have one frozen pie, it's a lemon pie, and that, I think it reminds me a little bit of that. It seems like there's like some it's not really whipping cream, but some cream frozen on top. Just when it starts melting. It's really nice. I think they do that a lot. Poppy seeds and lemon here in this place. If you like this, I, I don't know. Oops, mint. Where the muffin comes in place. But if you like the flavor, it's really good. It's really good. I think they're all good of this brand. Okay, so. Instead of saying cookie dough, like other brands sometimes do, they say muffin, it's kind of the same, right? Look, there's a little bit of, looks like cake. Or muffin in there, or here too. I kind of, it, it is actually, it is like a frozen pie, a frozen lemon pie with poppy seeds. Because it has the dough, it has the, the filling, it's all good. So yeah, you got a little piece of cake here in the puck, in the bucket. Yeah, and the, the, the dough is very neutral, which is good. It's a good addition to the very intense lemon flavor. So if you're in the flavor, I give this five stars. And that's that. <laughs> no, I turn the TV off. <laughs> no, I am not really into having cake dough and my ice cream I prefer it creamy just that I prefer not to have this only right now since you can't have anything else it's a good option but in general I would I would prefer not have any dough or any flaky things in my in my ice cream that's how I feel
so my lunch was very lean and that's good because um i can eat this because i didn't have any bread before or pasta or rice nothing nothing there with solid calories so i can compensate it yeah i wish to tell you this could be a meal all by itself just done That's the difference between what's happening now and what will happen next, right? See? I know I feel very annoyed, but I'm tired of the, of the dough and my ice cream felt like a creamy. Okay. This is like a muffin a la mode, right? A la mode makes us ice cream on the side of... No, for my personal thing, I'm gonna put them, I'm not sure, two stars or three and a half. Anything to make me, allow me to notice that I'm gonna be annoyed with it and I'm not gonna order it again. <laughs> because otherwise, without the muffin, I could have added, like you have apple pie with vanilla ice cream, I could have added pie at the side. And yes, sometimes I change my mind about things. And I think that's allowed. I give it certain stuff and then I change it for myself. No, that's the stuff you like. Sometimes you feel you wish to like, let's say, eat this and then you wish to not to eat it but to melt because the body asks you about what it needs, right? We always need protein, but how you take it. But the thing is, we might vary the diet, but love, we always need, there's really no way around that. It's not that we one day we need love and one day we don't. No, we always need love, always. Just like, you know, it's not a good comparison because water is just a need, but love feels so great. I'm gonna wait until it melts a bit. And that's what we wish to achieve right now. To actually tune into the vibration of love. Everyone. Now you, if you wish love, then you have to wish to include. Um, I don't know. It's just really hard for me to talk about it. Because I actually do include every single person on earth. And every single thing I always include. I'm this all-inclusive person. And then they wish to hurt me, and um, and then I feel like, sure, I'm just crying. But I always wish to include, and I don't want to think about, oh my God, here's the person who is going to be like hurting me in this way. Here's the person who's going to hurt me in that way. So I see, and I'm pleasantly surprised when there is a change, although right now by experience, again, I feel like, hmm, in the moment he or she is going to be asked to, you know, is that going to be working out for them? So I kind of wanted to tell you, include everyone, but well, in my vibration, you will feel good about it. Include everyone doesn't mean you're going to fuck everyone, okay? I mean, that's like disgusting. There's like your partner and then there's all the others, period. Your spouse, because partner is like, pfft. once you have, you have it, you don't want to leave ever. I mean, and if you don't have it, you don't really want to go there in my vibration. You don't want to experience. I wish I never had any of experiences. That's such a waste of time. But you will feel completely certain about it. Certain, I mean, that's the vibration of love and God. You will feel certain. There's no doubt. In love, there is no doubt.
but that's about the emotion and that's all there is to it.